Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some more figures from the Build a Weapon series from Star Wars The Force Awakens and in today's review we're going to take a look at one of, in my opinion, the coolest figures from The Force Awakens line so far. We don't know a whole lot about this character but what I do know is that he's very very cool looking and it is none other than this guy, Sarko Plank. Now this guy does appear in the Vanity Fair issue of, or the Star Wars The Force Awakens issue rather, of Vanity Fair that was released a few months ago. Uh, we do see this guy standing in the background um, on Jakku while J.J. Abrams is giving out his director's orders and we also have uh, Ray's Speeder pictured in the same image as well. Um, so it will be interesting to see where and how this guy pops up in the movie. Um, but you know, even if he doesn't play a crucial role in the film, I'm really happy that I managed to pick up this figure as he looks phenomenal. And in my opinion, he's one of the most detailed figures from the entire Force Awakens range. So we'll talk about this guy in more detail in just a bit, but before we do, as always, we are going to take a look at the packaging that he comes in. Now once again, I love the packaging design for the Force Awakens figures. We have Kylo Ren pictured at the top there, with the Force Awakens logo just at the side. We just have a really cool piece of art there of Sarko Plank himself, looking very creepy. Very, very cool looking though nonetheless. And just at the side of that, we also have an image of the completed Builder Weapon piece, which as you can see on the reverse side of the box, can be put together using parts from each of these three figures. And in the desert theme of Wave 2 of the Force Awakens line, we have Sarko Plank himself, and then a couple of repacks from the Star Wars Rebels series. So we have Kanan and Ezra. Now, if you're thinking that these figures are basic repacks of the two figures from Rebels, with Kanan, you'd be correct, however with Ezra, we do get his lightsaber packed in with the figure. So, you know, if uh, you picked up Ezra the first time round, um, but wondered why the lightsaber wasn't included, it was so that Hasbro could get some more money out of you and release it later on. Just at the side, we have more images of those Builder Weapon pieces. And as you can see, Sarko Plank does come with a rather cool looking one, if I do say so myself. And I'll uh, give you a look at that in just a little bit. So there is the packaging that Sarko Plank comes in. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. And as I said, this guy is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely love the look of this guy. He's got this very sort of bug-like look to him. Uh, love the detail in the faceplate or the helmet. Not entirely sure what it is that Sarko is wearing, but it looks really nice nonetheless. Got some great textured detail printed there on the helmet itself. Got some tubes leading down to some really uh, intricate looking uh, chest apparatus. And if we travel around the back of the figure, we have some oxygen tanks as well. So like with Darth Vader and many other characters in the Star Wars universe, it does appear that Sarko Plank has some respiratory problems. So again, it'll be interesting to see how those come into effect in the movie. Uh, from what I've read about this guy so far, he does appear in one of the Journey to the Force Awakens novels and has a little bit of a run-in with Luke Skywalker. So again, it'll be really interesting to see what kind of role he plays in the film. In terms of accessories, he comes with this rather crude looking blaster rifle, which looks very, very nice indeed, painted in a, a really nice goldy bronze sort of colour. And as you can see, it seems bandaged or taped at the back, uh, which leads you to believe that this is assembled using various uh, pieces of scrap and junk from the world of Jakku. As you can see, the robes are sculpted and painted really well. You've got different shades of red going on in the robes, which again, give the character and the figure a lot of depth and really add to the detail on this one. And in terms of articulation, Sarko Plank does feature a mere four points. Um, sadly, there's not a massive range of movement in the head. Um, these sculpted robes sort of get in the way and prevent any movement in the neck. Um, but we do get swivels at the shoulders and swivels at the hips. Personally, being a robed figure, I don't really think that this guy needs to get in that many poses. And based on the sculpt and detail alone, I really don't think articulation with this guy is a problem. You know, he's an awesome looking figure. Definitely one that I'd recommend, despite knowing very little about the character. And uh, he is sure to fit in with any scum and villainy scene that you've got going on in your Star Wars collection. Now, in terms of the Builder Weapon piece that Sarko Plank comes with, we do get this sort of enlarged blaster rifle. Not entirely sure what this is or what it's meant to do. And again, I have my doubts that we'll even see this in the film. But again, it's uh, more of a weapon um, than just an add-on feature. So it can be used independently with the figure itself. And, uh, you know, despite being rather large, it doesn't look as bad 
as some of the other weapons we've seen in this line so far. So no major complaints there, and for all intents and purposes, this is an awesome figure. Highly recommended, definitely pick him up if you get the chance. Um, he is in high demand for some reason, again, despite um, most of us knowing very little about the character. Um, but wherever he pops up, most people tend to be snapping him up. So if you see this one hanging on pegs, make sure you grab him. And again, don't think you'll be disappointed with this guy. Great figure all round. So that's going to do it for this review on Sarko Plank from the Force Awakens Builder Weapon series. And I'll be back to give you a look at more figures from this line very soon. So until then, as always, keep collecting and may the Force be with you.